Hi, um, I'm Nicole Owens. I'm a community educator in our Prevention Education and Awareness Program. And I'm Taylor Gleitz. I am the newest member to the Community Education Program. Um, and so we're here today to talk a little bit about uh, bullying since the school year is about to start. Um, our program, we go into schools and do um, some education um, that prevents violence from happening. And so for kids, um, students in school, that violence is going to be bullying. Mm -hmm. um, bullying is really similar to domestic violence. Um, and that basically the idea is that it's an aggressive behavior that could be verbal, emotional, physical, um, that's repeated and that one child has some sort of status over mm -hmm. the child that they are bullying. So that might be popularity, um, maybe the child they're bullying is new to the school or um, in some way different, they stand out from their, their peers. Um, and so that's very similar to our definition that we use here of domestic violence. Um, and so what we do, we go into schools, we have programs starting from pre-K all the way through 12th grade, um, where we talk about safety, um, you know, we tell kids to get a safe adult if they are experiencing some kind of violence towards themselves. We talk to them about uh, communication, boundaries, choices, consequences, um, and all of these things that we talk about are to prevent violence from happening in the future and to address any violence that may happen. Um, and so do you want to talk a little bit more about how we prevent some of that violence, how we can help that? Yeah, so as a parent, what your role is, um, is if you have an idea that you're, um, or it's just good to do with any child, but especially if you believe that your child might be a bully, um, is to teach consequences of actions. And we um, like to talk about punishment versus discipline and using, um, an approach that teaches child uh, children natural consequences. So for instance, if they're bullying during recess, a natural consequence of that might be meeting with a counselor during recess, having recess taken away. Um, if a child spills a glass of milk, um, then the natural consequence would be cleaning up the milk um, versus being um, punished, um, put in timeout or hit, um, spanked, that kind of thing. Um, and then um, if you believe that um, your child is being bullied um, or if they're a bully, it's really important to have communication um, with your child about that. And so some things that um, you can do is use uh, reflective listening. So that's uh, summarizing what the child is saying. I hear that you're saying um, you know, that you um, feel this way when this happens. Is that right? Um, is that what I'm hearing from you? And then helping the child um, brainstorm some solutions um, at a, you know, at their developmental level, they might not be able to think of um, how to end the um, problem on their own. And they might not be able to, they might not have the power to. And so really, um, brainstorming and getting the school involved um, with whatever um, you're not able to do on your end. Yeah, and so I think like just the idea of keeping that line of communication um, open, because a lot of times parents, even very well-meaning parents, um, can say things that shut the conversation down. Mm -hmm. um, so if they say, if a child says like, I don't want to go to school, um, and a parent says, well, you have to go, like it's the rules. Um, that really shuts that conversation down instead of opening opening it up and discovering why that child might not want to go to school. Mm -hmm. So saying like you don't want to go to school because you're worried that Taylor will tease you um, opens up that that conversation more to get to what's happening um, and then eventually talking about what solutions to that problem might be. Um, and so that's really important to kids if they are, like you said, being bullied um, or if they are bullying another child as well. Um, just listening to them, we saw um, some of the signs that a child might 
uh, be bullying another are um, if their friends are bullying. So if you notice their mm -hmm. friends have bullying behaviors, um, that's a sign that your child might also be engaging in some mm -hmm. of those behaviors towards others. Um, if they don't take responsibility for their actions, so that's where teaching them consequences is really helpful. And that's also helpful too for um, a child who's being bullied because when they learn that um, everybody has a choice in their behaviors, they also learn that if something happens to them, it's not their fault. Right. So if a child bullies them, then they know that's that the child that chose to bully them. It, they were their choice, not that they did something they didn't wrong. Cause it yeah, 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 absolutely. Um, and so that's a really important thing for kids to know too, that it's not their fault if they're being hurt. Um, but also knowing where to go for help. So the mm -hmm. school is a great option. Um, their parents are another great option, but also giving them other safe adults in their life that they can talk mm -hmm. to and letting them know who those people are. Um, and I do think it's important, like as those young kids, yeah, you're probably gonna have to get more involved with the problem solving. Um, but also if they are a little bit older and have that ability to sort of figure out how to solve this on their own, um, not taking control of that and taking that away from them. Um, so if they say like, oh my gosh, like please don't call so-and-so's mom because they're bullying me, mm -hmm. um, then listening to them and understanding that that might not be a very safe choice for them mm -hmm. you know we like to give people the ability to make choices that are safe for them and so um, if they are fearful of that action then we shouldn't take that away from them um, and so definitely to find out more about bullying in general um, one of the resources that we were looking at and talking more about this is stopbullying.gov um, and they have a, a lot of great information very specific to bullying on there um, like I said, we have programs starting in pre-K and early prevention is so, so important. Um, kids are learning at that age. They don't really understand this concept mm -hmm. of like having power over another person. They're still learning, um, but it's important to teach them. We need them to understand how to be kind to others and how to respect boundaries, mm -hmm. communicate effectively. Um, so we start in pre-K. Um, and then as they get older, we start talking more about those choices and consequences um, and all Getting of that. Getting involved as a peer yes. to kind of um, stop that, like that bystander mm -hmm. um, effect and um, stepping in and stopping it. Yeah, mm -hmm. absolutely. And then as they become teenagers, it's not just bullying that we're concerned about, but also teen dating violence. So we start to address that um, around that age as well. And so all of those programs are completely free to mm -hmm. the community. Um, we have several people on in our prevention education and awareness program. So we love to go out, get out mm -hmm. there in the community and talk about what we do. So if you are interested in having us come to your child's school, please get in contact with us. Um, we would love to be a part of that. So you can get in contact with us online at dcfof.org um, or by calling our phone number um, and we will try and see what we can do. <laughs> um, but I guess that's it. So thank you all um, and let us know if you want us to come to your school. Yeah.